right, and here is my cream, sweet cream or sweet corn casserole. I have 14 little circles out of this. Oh my gosh, that's two teaspoons of cinnamon. And here we are. I didn't think it was gonna pop up that easily. I gotta get to chopping those onions. And you know what I forgot on my plate? A piece of sausage. And oh my gosh, these are delicious. Isn't that cute? And there, that's the finished one. I wish I had videotaped in there. Howdy everyone, this is Trisha and welcome to my channel. Today I'll be making some fall pumpkin candle holders. So first I'm gonna show you all of the supplies that I will need and then we'll get to making the craft. All right, let me go over the list of supplies. I got uh, pretty much all of my supplies at the Dollar Tree. So I've got some candle holders here. As you can see them, they're glass. I got two of those because I'm gonna make two uh, candle holders, pumpkin candle holders. And then I've got these plate candle holders as well. I need to remove the stickers from that. The main attraction here is gonna be these little pumpkins. I chose these burlap ones, but they have orange, they have brown, they have little ceramic ones. They're all only a dollar, because of course they're from the Dollar Tree, so you can just choose what you like. Of course, I got two of those. I'm gonna be using these leaves, and these are already open because I used them in a wreath, and I'll link that uh, video down below so that you can take a look at that scarecrow wreath. These are the leaves that I used. They're maple, they do have oak also, and you can choose them in a variety of colors. They have like mostly orange and brown, some that are mostly red, and then they have another packet that is kind of yellow. I'm gonna use this uh, Excelsior Raffia also in my project. I got a little bundle of some little flowers. I made sure to get some ribbon. This is a three yard, so this is a great buy, and I've got some that I've already started, so I'm gonna actually use that. I also at the Dollar Tree, I got this little packet of little plastic acorns. I use that in another project, so I'm using them still. That's a great deal. Okay, so for my tools, I am going to need some wire cutters, wire. I'm gonna be using these little pliers just to bend my wire. I'm gonna be needing some scissors to cut my ribbon. And to glue everything, I'm gonna be using E6000, but for the purpose of the video, I'm also gonna be using my glue gun, so I need my glue gun and my glue sticks. Of course, if you're doing this at home and you're not in a hurry, you can just use E6000 glue. This is the only item I did not get at the Dollar Tree. I got this at Hobby Lobby. And of course, I use my 40% discount on that, so make sure you take advantage of that. All right, so the first thing I wanna do is I wanna remove any stickers, any tags that are on my items, and then I'll be back and show you how to put this all together. Okay, I've already cleaned my candle holders. I didn't clean these. I should just clean them real quickly. It's no big deal. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and glue them on. I Actually, I just removed the label from here, so it's okay. I'm going to use some E6000 right on the edge of my stand candle holders. So get some of that glue on there. This glue is great for glass, wood, ceramics, plastic, but it does need to cure overnight. So you would glue these and let them dry overnight, at least eight hours, but the preference would be like, let them dry overnight. Uh, but for the purpose of the video, like I said, I'm gonna use my glue gun, so I'm gonna add a little bit of uh, glue from that so that um, I can go ahead and stick everything together right now. Okay, so the next thing you wanna do is you wanna eyeball this and just kind of place the plate candle holder. Try to get it as centered as you can, or you could do it upside down if that's easier for you to center it. This is already upside down. And just press them down. Now, if you were just using the E6000, you could put something heavy on top, some books or something, just to kind of help uh, get some weight on them and keep them pressed down, and then let them dry overnight, as I said. For the purpose of the video, we're just going to say it's stuck. <laughs> it's not, but we're going to pretend. Okay, let's turn these around. This one did a great job of sticking. This one's not doing such a great job. Okay, so we're going to leave them like that. Okay, the next thing we want to do is we want to decorate our little candle plates here. And I've got these maple leaves. And I've already opened this one, so I'm going to go ahead and use the orangey brown kind of shaded ones. Let me show you what they look like. I got lots of orange and brown in them and I really like these. So what I want to do is I want to fill 
around here, the edges with the leaves. So I want to glue them down like that. And I can use my E6000 and I can use my glue gun for that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and use my glue gun because then later I can go ahead and peel these off easier and then maybe I can decorate this for Christmas. So that's what I'm going to use instead of using a permanent glue like E6000. So you're just going to glue these all the way around. Okay, I'm going to finish this one and then I'm going to continue with the other one and I'll be right back. Okay, so I've gone ahead and I've already glued all the leaves around as you can see. The next thing I want to do is I want to place these little pumpkins right here and then I'm going to take some of this raffia and I'm going to sort of tuck it right in there. So let's put our pumpkins on there first and again I'm going to be using my glue gun pretty much for the rest of the project. Now um, you could take these candle holders after they've dried and use a paint that you can use on glass and paint them. If you don't want them to be a clear, you can paint them in a metallic gold or a silver or white, off-white or black, any color that you want to use on them. So you can certainly do that. I like them in crystal, so I went ahead and I left them like that. Let's get some glue on this one. Again, I want to be able to just kind of rip everything apart and use the same glass for some Christmas candle holders. Okay, so I'm just going to grab my raffia and just kind of bunch it up like that a little bit. And pour some glue. And this, wait, let me get some glue in my gun here. Pour some glue in there. Let me go ahead and show you what I'm doing here. And then I'm going to take my little bundle that I've made and push them in there. And I'm going to use these little pliers to push the raffia in there because I don't want to burn my fingers with the glue. So just have something to use. You can use the tip of your scissors or a little knife, some tweezers, whatever you want. Just make sure that that gets caught onto the glue. And keep making little bundles and go all the way around. Let me show you what it looks like so far. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and finish up going around and then I'm gonna do the other one and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm almost finished with this other one. There's one thing that I wanna mention about this Excelsior. Uh, I mentioned that it's like raffia. It is kind of like raffia, but this is more like a shaving from wood rather than the raffia, which is from a grass. And I got a little bit of a splinter while I was squishing it off. It was not that bad. It was just a tiny little splinter. So you might want to watch out if you're using this product. Okay, the other thing I want to do, because I'm almost finished with this, is if I feel like it's too bushy, I can just use my scissors and trim any, anything off. Now, instead of using this pumpkin, you can certainly put a candle on it, but I wouldn't light up the candle because of all this bits all over the place. You don't want them to get into the flame, so it would just be purely decorative. Okay, so I've just trimmed a little bit of the, the Excelsior or Raffia if you choose to use that. Or little grasses, you could certainly use like little green grasses if you wanted to do like a Christmas or if you wanted to even do like an Easter display. You can use some Easter grasses on here or you know, Spanish moss or something like that. Okay, the next thing I wanna do is I wanna put a little bow on top of here. And I've also got these little flowers, so I'm gonna trim these little flowers. I'm gonna move these over to the side. Basically what I'm going to do, I think I'm gonna use these leaves also. But I'm just gonna go ahead and just trim them off and get them off the bush. And that's why I also need my wire cutters. Unless you want to use your scissors, but you'll don't plan on using those scissors for cutting some nice fabric. Okay, so now I've got these little flowers, but I still think it's too much on this bush. So I'm going to go ahead and cut them off like so. So I have like little individual little pieces of flowers here. I can do the same with the uh, leaves. Just remove that little plastic bit off of them. Cut where they're connected and just have some leaves like that. And I'm going to go ahead and stick some underneath here. I just noticed that I have a little spacer that doesn't have any of this Excelsior, so I'm just going to stick a little bit in there. Okay. Just like that.
the little leaves I put in there. Okay, so everywhere I put a little leaf, I'm also going to put a little bundle of flowers. So let me put some more little leaves. I'm trying to pick the ones that are the nicest. Some of them are a little bit crushed and wrinkled. I think I'm going to do like a triage. So I'm going to do three of them, a triangle. You can put as many as you want as long as you have enough. But I want to have enough for my other candle holders. So I'm going to do three. And I'm going to do three on the other one. Okay, this one has a nice leaf, so I'll cut that one off. And this one has a nice one too, so I'll use that one. And right over here. So you can see that? I got three on there. Okay, so now I just want to do the little flower bundles as well. And I'm thinking I'm going to trim the stick a little more. And just put some glue right on that little brown branchy bit. And stick them right in there, just like that. So let's calculate so far what I have used. I've got two candle holders, a pumpkin, a bushel of flowers. That's four items, so that's four dollars. My little raffia, my leaves, my ribbon, that's another three dollars, seven. The little acorns I'm going to use, that's eight dollars. So I basically used eight dollars of uh, supplies here to create my little candle holders. I'm not done yet, but that's what I've used so far. And uh, that doesn't include the glue, of course. And a lot of these items that I've purchased, like the leaves and the little acorns and some of the ribbon, I'm going to have that left over. So it actually it's not really costing me any dollars to make, but that just gives you an idea. This is not an expensive craft to do at all if you get your items from the Dollar Tree, but you need to go get them now because they're running out of fall items. But I'm hoping that this at least inspires you and maybe you'll do either Halloween or Christmas, New Year's. And there we go, that's what I've done there. I'm not finished. <laughs> I want to do two little bows on the top and I want to add some little acorns. So I'm gonna get a couple of pieces of wire from the floral wire. And this is a 22 gauge floral wire. For floral wire, it's on a paddle. I got this from Hobby Lobby, but you can get some from the Dollar Tree. They do have some there. They just have less on the paddle, but that's okay if you're not doing that many crafts. You can use, certainly use that. And of course, it's only a dollar. And you'll have plenty of it left over for another project. Okay, so I just want a little bow on the top. So I'm just going to do like three three little loops. So what I'm doing is just some pinching and twisting. And I mentioned in my other videos, if you want to learn how to make bows, and you want to see me do them up close, please leave a nice comment down below suggesting that you want to see a video just on bow making. And I will do that for you. But please, please leave a comment if you have any other suggestions of any other videos you'd like me to do. So I'm just trimming off a little bit of the wire because I don't need that much. And then I'm going to use my little pliers to bend that kind of downward so I don't have it sticking out. And anywhere up here on the top is where I'm going to place that. Now this little bit of ribbon that kind of wants to be facing uh, backwards, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little dot of glue on my pumpkin and pin that down so it stays there. this little bow on there. I'm going to do the same for the other side. I'm doing this because I'm trying to decide what length I want my little tail for my bow. You can certainly make more loops than this. But I think three loops is just enough for this project. Another piece of wire. You can use chenille stems. I prefer to use floral wire because you don't really see it like you do the chenille stems. And then you have to be digging and looking for chenille stems that match the ribbon, and I don't want to do that. <laughs> Sometimes just buying a paddle of wire is the easiest thing to do. Okay, so we'll put that on there. Both of my little tails are facing so that um, the pretty print is showing, so I don't have to do what I did over here. Okay, so just making sure that those are 
on there. And then I'm going to take three acorns for each one. And I'm going to place them on top. I'm going to place one kind of in the middle on top of the bow. A little bit onto the pumpkin there. There. You can place these wherever you want. If you have plenty of these little acorns, you can also place them on the bottom. This is where I'm placing them. You can see that there. Okay, let's do the other one. And we are going to be done with this. This wasn't hard at all. I hope you were inspired to create your own design or just follow along and do exactly as I did. And as I said, I will link down below the other craft that I did, which was a little boy or little girl, whatever you want to call it, a little baby scarecrow wreath. And there you go. There's one candle holder. And here's the other one. So there you go. Make sure you leave a nice comment down below. Give me a big old thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And please share on your social medias. And as always, enjoy. Thank you.